I think that um, that Jesus has already, um, histori- if you look at it from a historic standpoint, has already framed things in such a way. Here you have a country preacher who was speaking the vernacular of the day. He did not speak as if he was from Rome or from Athens. He said, if I want to tell you a story, let me tell you a story about a father and two sons and one son going away. He would tell a narrative that would connect with people who were from a rural background. And I think when you flip the narrative in a contemporary sense, that it speaks in such a powerful way. Um, I always use the example of one of my favorite disciples is Peter, who is a thug. Anybody who carries a knife around and cuts off ears has thuggish behavior. Um, Now that connects with this particular generation, Peter being a thug, but also being a disciple. Um, Here you have Jesus spending most of his time with people who who are homeless, who are dispossessed, and at the same time does not negate those who are in power. Uh, Many times we take a perspective of a very linear view that it's either us versus them, where Jesus says it is us and them, and it creates a we. And so that becomes the the way to frame things for this generation, is to speak uh, their particular vernacular and to frame it so that they can understand it and remove the Romanesque uh, language around talking about Jesus.